Hi there, it's Reika Kovasin here with another series of videos for Seth Aptor Creative Team. In honor of Mother's Day this month, I'm concentrating on three different mothers from Kalevala, a Finnish national epic. The first person I'm using as inspiration is Ilmatar. These three projects have some things in common. First of them being, well, the topic, but also the surface I'm working on. I'm building each of these pieces on top of an old book cover. The third thing they have in common is image transfer. I'm using a different technique for each piece. Before doing the image transfer on this piece, I'm building some layers to the background. As you could see, I first started by using acrylic color as such, then through a stencil, and then I'm adding some washi tape to get that a little bit extra to the background. Next thing I'm doing is adding some stamping on top. I'm using two different colors of ink, hydrangea, like a blue ink for the more solid pattern, and then black for a more open, like just detail pattern. Both of the stamps are from Paper Artsy from the Eclectica 3 series. Then I add a touch of color by using Ising Ice, two different colors, Crystal Waters and Frozen Peas. If you want to know how these colors and the image I chose are connected to Ilmatar, please visit my blog for the full blog post. For this first project, I'm doing a really simple image transfer. This is one of my favorites because it's really fast and it gets the job done quickly. So this is just clear packaging tape to transfer. With this technique, you don't have to flip the image either because you can just then just adhere it on top as it is. So you just first apply clear packaging tape over your printed photo and then flip it around so you can remove the paper from the back. Just add a little bit of moisture with a spritzer or even with a paintbrush and then gently rub the paper away. Sometimes the tape actually has enough adhesion to be used as such on top of a project, but usually, or at least I advise you to use some kind of adhesive. On top of that, I'm using a soft body gel medium to adhere the duck in place. By doing an image transfer rather than just collaging the picture on top, I'm revealing the layers underneath. So you can still see some of the stamping and textures underneath the dock when I've adhered it in place. After I have the image secured with the soft body gel medium, I'm letting it dry and then adding a coat of clear gesso on top. Then I'm building more layers to my project. First I add some oil pastels and smudge them with my finger to add a little bit of color here and there. And then I do a texture underneath the main composition. I'm using Aladdin's new Ising texture and this one is sandy. Unfortunately I had a little bit of issue with the recording so you can see me apply the paste but I mix some Venice Blue Freshco Venice Acrylic Paint to that texture paste and then use a Stencil Girl stencil to add it to my project. I'm kind of trying to build waves or background for the main composition. Here you can then see the texture paste as it is and also the composition done. I used a heavy body gel medium to adhere these little pieces. The white in the middle is done using a light air drying clay 
and the other elements are just well a little lost and found thingies from my stash some of them are both embellishments but there's also like the key that's something i've i've found i picked these items again inspired by the character next i'm painting the egg using glazier ice paint and then adding some metallic touches also i'm adding hints of paint to the rest of the composition as well but just kind of hints to tie everything together not to overlap or um, cover them totally with the paint i want the true color and the rusty and grungy bits to actually show but still have something that tie everything together to add some detail to the egg i use Aladine Ising pigmenting roast chestnut and make some speckles or splashes to the outside of the egg. As a finishing touch, I add some feathers and pearls to the composition. The feathers, well, they again connect to the ducky <laughs> there, but also bring some softness to the piece. And well, Ilmatar means um, heiress, direct translation. So there needs to be something fluffy and something connected with the air in the piece as well. I also add a couple of pearls there to kind of represent different celestial things like clouds or moon or stars. After filming I also added one more thing to the piece and it's a stamped word. I'm using journal jargon 9 for the stamp and chose a word that would represent Ilmatar. For her, I chose Creator. But like I said earlier, if you want to read more and kind of hear the backstory why I chose these things for her, please visit my blog. Thank you for watching today. Here's the finished piece and also some detailed shots. And I hope I'll be seeing you again tomorrow when I'm sharing another project in this series. Thank you so much. Bye for now.